Hi Leo. You love and relationship tarot cards reading by M for the month of August 2021. Four cards at first representing your relationship. The Hermit. Seven of Swords. Seven of Cups. Death. And Six of Pentacles. Okay, four cards now representing you. I'm putting this back and I'm going to shuffle it a little, a little bit. Okay, it was kind of clumsy from me. Anyway, the Hermit with the Magician. I told you these are energies representing you, Leo. I told that already, eh? Seven of Swords with Knight of Cups. Seven of Cups with Eight of Cups in reverse. Death with... I believe those cards are <laughs> upside down. Anyway, I'm going to take it as such. But uh, yeah. Anyway, the Hermit in reverse. Okay, we do have twice this Hermit at the beginning and at the end of the month. Four cards representing your partner, the Sun. Three of Cups, King of Swords, and Eight of Cups. Alrighty. Seven of Wands um, and Knight of Swords. Look, this is give and take energy. This one I like for your relationship. It seems it, it brings a quality. Whatever that you need, another one is coming with. Or whatever another one your partner is in need, you owe there for your partner. That kind of energy, give and take, helping hand, this relationship is very reliable place for you, for you people. But now I do see fights. Some, some kind of you people are defending. Your partner is defending itself. You are on the offense. You or Leo with this. Uh, explain to me, tell me. You are bringing this situation up. You are telling to this person, why did you do? What do you think? You see what I'm saying? Because this one yet is explaining what is thinking, um, what is standing for, um, defending itself, its opinion, its character, its personality, its deeds, its ideas, and you see what I'm saying, very defensive energy on, on that side, Leo, and you are charging forward like crazy, tell, explain now, immediately, urgently, that kind of July, um, I kind of saw it as uh, unpleasant. <laughs> anyway, um, now the hermit energy for your relationship isn't bad. It says that your relationship did have some problem. That's what I was perhaps telling you um, about this July energies that may be conflict, that challenging situation that you people did have. This is stable energy, but requires sacrificing something okay both of you are sacrificing something okay you were maybe angry now you are still angry but you're not gonna raise your voice you're not gonna ask anything you see what i'm saying you will sacrifice you will bring it down you will submerge that you know that anger that um, i don't know whatever that you were um with this knight of swords um your partner as well, okay, you are putting an effort to um, bury these problems, to try to understand another. This is very wise energy. You people are trying to understand each other, trying to bring things together, okay? No, the sun energy and the magician, these are two lovely energies, three majors, all right? The sun energy is that vitality and the joy and happiness. Your partner is really happy that side. Um, and the magician is within you. You are coming with your magic, okay? You know what you do um, to make your partner happy and that's what you do. Okay, you did have some problems. Now, as I said, something is needed to, you, to, you need this to do something so your partner like when 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 you dress beautifully and uh, you take your partner to some lovely restaurant you kind of have your things 
um, with something like that. I'm just giving you an example because I want to explain this magician energy. It seems to me that you came with your magic. That's what your partner loves with you. Every time that you dress like that and you book the restaurant, something romantic, your partner oh, will shine. They will be happy. You see what I'm saying? And that's what you do. You use your magic. You know what your partner likes. That's what you're going to do. And everything will be just fine. Sorted. Little bit of sacrifice uh, of something. Little bit of workout. And everything is all right. Relationship is happy. Now, seven of swords with three of cups at that side and knight of cups. We are talking celebration. Okay. We are talking something that is... Having a good time, um, having friends around, have a drink, enjoy good times, celebrations, some, I don't know, birthday party, somebody passed its exam, by all means, some sort of celebration, some sort of get together is in here. Now, your relationship is still in this mode, we are working on it. We are very careful what we're gonna say. You see what I'm saying, Leo? Both of you, okay, this is a celebration. You people are having a good time, but it seems to me you are very careful how you gonna, um, how you gonna behave, um, what you're gonna say, how you're gonna conduct yourself. You will tread lightly, okay, here. No, don't touch that what is touchy subject because definitely there is touchy subject from July and you are treading lightly. Just don't touch it. Everything will be fine if we do not talk about that. What is problem? <laughs> okay, so far so good. You people will have some sort of celebration. Um, 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 second week of August. Um, now, Seven of Cups is option. It's not bad at all. The Seven of Cups is option for this relationship. You can go many ways here. Okay, with the King of Swords, that side, and Eight of Cups, you supposed to leave it behind, okay, um, some sort of situation, and um, but you are not ready yet. Your partner is ready in here, perhaps, by the end of the month, you will leave the situation behind. But no, third week of August, you will not be ready yet. Definitely something, you know, something from earlier on definitely stays as elephant in the room. And you are sweeping under the carpet all the time. You are hiding it. You are not touching it. Um, you are leaving it behind. Definitely something that you're supposed to forget. They're supposed to leave it behind. That is bothering your relationship it, it's not any more useful for your relationship it doesn't serve you people anymore but you are somehow you're somehow not ready to leave it behind look there is that energy there is eight of cups and the hermit again it seems to me you are not ready the hermit energy also says you are not ready to deal with that you are not ready to transition yourself something is there that you are not ready to forget you are not ready to get over it and that's it you were with this energy of knight of swords you were charging you were insisting you on by the end of the month you're still not ready to get over it to forget to transition to to I don't know to move on to move on relationship has to okay because it's a death of a situation you have to move on it seems to me the whole situation is changing the relationship is moving on into something else there is opportunity for you people relationship is surviving okay there's not gonna be breakup even if it's that energy in here it's not breakup that's for sure it's just a transition into something else okay and you know uh, your partner is readily doing it and very intellectual in here you know your partner is very logical we have to deal with that which we have to talk about that we have to forget it put it behind okay you are not ready to put it behind you work and you want to okay you do understand that you're supposed to and you want to but somehow somehow you just cannot you just cannot by the end of the month you still cannot this energy this the the, the um, hermit energy upside down 
yeah, you want to deal with that, you want to be wise, you want to, you know, somehow find solution, but it's not there yet for you, you are just not ready, though you are, um, I believe you're not going to bring it up as a problem, it's not going to be a problem, because definitely your partner will leave things behind, it's very intellectual, it's very logical, you are trans transitioning your relationship into something else, it will be better, options are there for this relationship, all good, it's only that it is still within you, okay, you, you kind of, you, you didn't burn it, you didn't overgrow it, you, you haven't dealt with it, um, somehow is it still within, okay, Leo, for some reason, but anyway, as I said, you are not obstructing movement that is important, by all means, enjoy it.